Yo, what's happening to you guys? Extreme Pan Sonic here, and welcome back to a Naruto Storm 4 discussion. I know I'm like three days late. I'm sorry about that, but I'm here. I'm about to do a discussion regarding the new scan that was released three days ago, which you know mentioned a really cool feature known as Leader Swap, which is pretty much you get to play well, you get to um, play with all three characters mid battle. So I get to swap between Naruto. Sasuke and Sakura mid battle anytime I want. Well, I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's any time, but by the way they're saying it, I can swap any time mid battle. Maybe to if I let's say I don't know how they're gonna work it. I'm just gonna give you guys a scenario. I'm getting my ass beat um, constantly, so instead of me substituting, I could use character swap where I'm swapping between Naruto and Sasuke, or I could you know call down Naruto to use a Rasengan and then instantly switch to Naruto what you know after he's, he's finished doing his Rasengan and then Sasuke would disappear I don't know how they're gonna work it out I'm have this I have this whole lot of mechanic in my mind of how they could make this work like I mean it could work in the same way as let's say as a usual um calling of a support you call them you call them the support they'll do their jutsu and then they'll disappear but you can also you know, trick your opponent by calling down the support, they'll do their jutsu, but then you continue on with that character and the other guy, you know, bounces off. I don't know, it's it, it's a new mechanic, it's the first time that they've ever done this, so... Well, it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna make this work. Also, will, will you be able to share health? Is it all like one health bar? And if it's so, please just bring back the tree health bars come on why did they take out three health bars? it made it made battles feel a lot more epic and you know just in general just bring back the three um, health bars. i mean you brought back wall running i still don't know how you're gonna make wall running work but it's gonna be interesting to see how that wall running thing is gonna work <coughs> next thing you'll know they'll probably bring back ultimate um clashes if you don't know what that is in storm one your help it's not really clashing to say but if I were to hit you with an ultimate, you can have a you can have a chance of defending yourself by you know hitting button sequences and you know whoever wins wins the outcome of that situation. So that be if they brought back that, that would be pretty epic. So we also got some information about Hanabi. I don't really care about Hanabi because I forgotten she actually existed until the scan came up. Even even though I I've seen the last movie and she was there, she didn't have much of a role in it, she just got her eyes taken, that's about it. So, I mean, but she is very talented, she's more talented than Hinata herself, so it would, she should have some serious epic combos, and the fact that they're gonna be doing um, Team Hyuga combination will be pretty damn epic. Now, in the small picture there, they show that um, Neji, Hinata, Hanabi, and her father, which I don't know her name, his name, but but they're all standing there, all four. So will that? So will he just pop up out of nowhere and join in with the ultimate, or is that a screenshot of an animation? That no, it wouldn't make sense because they don't do animations in the number um, series. So, so I'm assuming Hanabi, when he when she does her ultimate with um, Hinata and Neji in the team, the leader of the Hugo clan will pop up. To join that ultimate, that's how I'm seeing it because it looks kind of like that, in my opinion. Then they showed, um, <clears throat> then they showed the tr um, the new Silent Tree versus the Juby, which is um, this is pretty much just telling us that we're gonna be having some epic ass, high scaled, over the top boss battles, which is pretty much what the Storm series, the normal Storm series, has been known for for quite some time. So it's not really much of a surprise to me. I know the story is going to be epic because let's face it guys, whoever watches the anime and then plays the Storm games, you know that the Storm games makes the battle that you've, that you've already seen two times, not sorry, not two times, ten times more better than the actual anime. Well, that's my opinion anyway. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think that the battles that you see in the, um, in the Storm games were made ten times better than the actual an fights in, um, in uh, you know, in the anime? Because, okay, except for the Orbiter versus Kakashi fight, that was pretty cool, and they didn't do that in the game. Probably they might do that in this game, but yo, they can actually do that in this game. Yo, it's gonna be, oh my goodness, it's gonna be twice, ten times better. So yeah, um, there's not really much to say about this. Um, they're also talking about, uh, what's it called again, Naruto and Sasuke combining their 
and you know, top tier Jutsu, Amaterasu and Resident Shuriken. This is probably gonna be exclusively, this Jutsu might be just for the um, the last characters like Naruto the last, Sasuke the last because that was, cause they only did that Jutsu once um, during the 4th Great Ninja War when they fought against Obito. They only did that once, but this one seems to they seem to have it more controlled, more advanced, and as you can see, South Naruto's sh um, shotgun is actually golden yellow or yellow, golden yellow. I don't keep, I don't know, but yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to say. I'm I'm really hyped. I'm I can't wait for a trailer. There needs, there needs to be a trailer. There needs to. I say the trailer might pop up. I was I thought the trailer might pop up this week. But well, it looks like we're not going to be getting the trailer until probably the end of the month, probably, I'm not too sure. So yeah guys, let me know what you guys think, do you think this is going to be, do you think the new leader swap thing is a good feature, bad feature, what do you think of it? Um, how do you think the leader swap thing will work? I don't know if I, did, did I explain that? It doesn't matter, I'll do it again. Here's how I think it's going to work. One, you're going to just call down, you're going to, you know, back away, get some distance from your, from your opponent. Hit the swap button and just swap. That's it. Oh, it'll be like um, taking Man vs. Capcom style, where you call down your support. He, he or she does their um, jutsu, and then you continue on that um, jutsu with a combo. And you, you know, you have to wait till a certain meter fails for you to continuously swap between characters. That would suck, but I don't know. 